Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through my skincare routine. I started looking for skincare, I wanted to change it up, so I saw The Ordinary just all over the place, everywhere. So, today's Sunday, and Sundays are a little bit different from my uh, skincare routine because I do some of the steps that I don't do every day. So I'm gonna take you guys through what I do in the morning, and then what I do at night, and then today I'm actually gonna apply what I apply on Sundays evenings, which is like a self-care day where I wake up, get out of bed, wash my face with the squalene cleanser. So it's like a kind of buttery, creamy texture, and what you're supposed to do is you apply it on a dry face. So make it kind of oily in your hands, your fingers, and then you apply it. So that's kind of how that is. Um, what I do is I apply that, and then I rinse it off with my face to all that. Ew. Next step in my morning routine is I grab this beautiful bottle. It's a caffeine solution. Genetically, I just have darker under eyes and just these little things that never seem to go away no matter how much I sleep actually really looks like this just helps to brighten wake my face up especially my eyes so after this there it is with the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% this is a game changer. So this is um, high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. So satisfying, like it's just so thick. So anyway, I put this on. Um, usually what I do is I just like put a few drops and then just pat it in. So after I do this, buffet. This is great. This is kind of like a combination of all of the really good serums of The Ordinary. So instead of having to buy like the Matrixol and like whatever else, this is just a multi-technology peptide serum. After that, I go in with my Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA. This is just like the daily moisturizer. And then after that, because it is morning and usually I go out and do something or just even sitting at home on the couch, you know, you have the windows open and a lot of people think that like if you don't go out you shouldn't wear sunscreen but like your phone light like blue light like all of this light is just affecting your skin so i go in with my hydrating sunscreen the CeraVe 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 that's the am now i'm going to take you guys through what my pm usually looks like on a regular day time to go to bed once again get rid of all the gunk in my skin squalane cleanser after that the caffeine solution because it can help just overnight so i wake up even more fresh face and then i use the vitamin c suspension 23 percent and ha spheres two percent so this little thing is vitamin C. It says that it's preferred to do at night. It, when you put vitamin C on during the day, I think if you go outside and you like forget to put sunscreen on, you can get burned. So I just prefer not to risk it and I put this on at night. And then after I do that, I go in with the moisturizer and that's it. So here's the thing about The Ordinary. There are so many products, but there are also so many things that you like can't mix together, which is why at night, I don't go in with these two before I put these in. It's not that your face is gonna like explode if you mix them together. However, sometimes when you like overlap um, certain products, they actually counter each other. So they don't work as well as the individual product would if you just apply that to your face. When I first started going through The Ordinary, I was really confused. I was going through their website, I was looking up like, what can you mix, what can you not mix, what works, what doesn't, and I don't really have very problematic skin. I don't want to get anything that would cause some sort of reaction. If you email them on the actual Destiny website, you tell them what products you have, kind of skin problems you have, what you want to get out of it, and they'll tell you step by step what you should use. So I wanted to be like super sure that me mixing these wasn't going to have some sort of reaction or that it wouldn't counteract each other or that you know cancel each other out whatever and they basically kind of just reinforce that like yes what you're doing is best never mix i think peptides with your vitamin c or like retinoids like it's just the whole thing it's so crazy like it makes sense like why is it so hard but once you get it it just makes so much sense and your skin just will thank you for it now we get to the point where it is my sunday and on Sundays, it's a little bit different for me. So mornings start off the same. Went did my workout, came back. Now I'm home. Time to unwind, take care of myself, get my hair out of my face. The product that blew the ordinary up. I mean, like everywhere. I see it everywhere. And that, my friends, is the AHA 30 plus BHA 2% solution. I know most of you have seen this. It's like straight up blood. 
So this lovely solution is not intended to be used every day because it is a chemical peel. Let me show you guys how I do this. Squeeze it on my hand and just get it all over my skin. I kind of like for it to be a little bit more layered, so we're going to do that again. Okay, voila. So now I just set a little timer, take this off. So I'm going to go watch a few YouTube videos and then I will be back when I rinse this off and show you the rest of my routine. So like, I was actually really scared to try this out because people were like, it's going to burn your face or whatever, but that is not my experience with this. I have not felt any burning or anything of that sort. I did read that a lot of people who have more sensitive skin like kind of had issues with this. Just to be safe though, 24 hours before I actually tried the product on my face, I patch tested it on my neck and made sure that I didn't get any like pimples or anything crazy, any sort of reaction. And luckily I was good to go. So one more thing I wanted to show you guys. Thingies from Amazon. Not exactly sure what they are or what they even call them. They come in sticks like this. I use these especially when I do um, this like red mask because you want to make sure you get everything off. You put them under running water. So now I got this little sponge that I'm going to use to remove all, all, all. All right, so that is that. I just finished cleaning that off. Left it on for about 10 minutes. So after this, I go in with the moisturizer. I don't like about, I'm gonna say a pea-sized amount, maybe a little bit more. It is ordinary in the sense that you don't need a million and 30 things, but you do need to do your research and really get to know your skin. And then once you get to that point, it's just like everything makes so much sense and you can really start to focus on sticking to your routine to get some really nice glowing results. So, thank you.